How's it going, Savage Life family? Today I want to talk about this new token that has been making headway major noise and it is known as Avalanche or AVAX, currently breaking all time highs at this $74 price point high that it is currently at and still rising. It's quite astonishing how much has been rising regardless of how down bitcoin has been we all know bitcoin has a dominance currently of 41.9 percent for those of you who don't know is right here on the top right corner that is going to show you on coin market cap now this is important because the dominance of bitcoin goes to show that regardless which direction bitcoin heads is going to reflect the overall market but what has been drawing avalanche through all time highs and rising it in rank of coin market capitalizations it's the simple fact that it has been getting good news back to back and it does have a burning supply so let's talk about it avalanche is unique in that the network burns a portion of its transaction fees so its supply is guaranteed to decrease over time causing more scarcity more than 163,000 tokens out of a total supply of 720 million have been burned so far which will only increase over time if the network gains wider adoption not to mention that it has a capped max supply at 720 million coins which is just two good indications that this coin is definitely here to stay and over time is going to rise in price now at launch avalanche supports standard solidity based smart contracts through the ethereum virtual machine smart contracts on the avalanche network can settle in as little as one second which would be a first for the industry because it simultaneously processes thousands of transactions per second as well they are also a hub for decentralized applications on the blockchain so what does this mean it means it is compatible for those coins who have been built on the ethereum virtual machine those smart contracts applications are able to also be moved on to avalanche's blockchain which is great news as majority of cryptos and projects these days are built on the ethereum virtual machine as they are the current standard as you see there's 12,075 cryptos so I'd say at the very least over 9,000 of those cryptos were built upon the Ethereum virtual machine, if not more. So let's take a look at some technicals to see what's up with AVAX. Now, AVAX currently here is breaking all time highs. If we look at the past, this is a beautiful, beautiful chart cup and handles all across the board indicating green uprises and more upside potential to come. We have the 50 day EMA crossed above the both 100 and 200 day EMA on the short hourly chart, which means the short term fluctuations could continue to rise and we may reach those $80 highs. But keep in mind, would you wanna buy a coin when it's at its all time high? Absolutely not. So you'd want to take a step back, take a chill pill, especially for those of you who are antsy on buying into the coin because buying at all time highs, you, you could end up inevitably being burned in the short term. Now, does this matter to you if you're holding it on for years to come? Absolutely not. But for the individuals who love to see quick money, this is not the time to be buying AVAX. It's not to say that this is a phenomenal coin because this is a great phenomenal project and there's a reason it's been crossing all time highs and surpassing coins on the coin market capitalization list. It's just to say a lot of individuals do end up getting scared and panic selling out of their position when they buy at all time highs and it ends up dropping in the short term. So let's talk about notable projects because here we had a nice little spike on the 16th and it was due to some reason news. They ended up getting in a collaboration with Kyber DMM with 5.8 million in liquidity incentives. Kyber DMM provides crypto liquidity with high capital efficiency and dynamic fees. The more collaborations and partnerships Avalanche gets, the further the reach the foundation ends up receiving, which on a broader sense would just increase media attention and the market capitalization over time as more individuals find out about AVAX. Now, notable projects on Avalanche include decentralized money market Aave, which facilitates the borrowing and lending of $19 billion worth of cryptocurrencies. 
Aave is considered a world's bank by cryptocurrency enthusiasts. Anyone who has access to the internet can use Aave as a high yield savings account for their cryptocurrencies and stable coins, pretty much parking it there like a bank account and earning interest on your coins. It follows the launch of the Avalanche Bridge, which transfers assets between blockchains. And the firm said the combination of the two will incentivize new and established DeFi applications to join the Avalanche ecosystem. Now, for those of you who don't know what Aave is, they're currently ranked number 41 on the market capitalization list at this $299 price point. The reason they're so high in price is because the circulating supply is so low for Aave. And when you have a low circulating supply, your price is going to be much higher depending on the coin market capitalization. Now, we talked about the good on AVAX, but there is bad as well. And if you guys didn't know, the centralized finance platform V Finance reported $35 million in losses and an exploit just a few days after launching its mainnet on the Avalanche network. Avalanche is a blockchain where these decentralized finance applications are able to be launched at. And this is not a good look for the short term, but it goes to show when launching a project, you have to be prepared and make sure your project is secure as possible before launching. After pausing services due to suspicious activity on Monday, V Finance confirmed that its platform was under attack, resulting in a loss of 8,800 Ether and around 214 Bitcoin. The amount is worth more than 35 million dollars at the time of writing for those of you who don't know v finance is a DeFi lending platform focused on supporting multiple mining mechanisms including liquidity mining transaction mining and leverage mining now this came short because last week as well the avalanche based DeFi application zabu finance was reportedly exploited for $3.2 million, causing the value of Zabu tokens to plummet to zero. So the investors in Zabu pretty much lost out on a majority of their money. Sad to see, but this is the risk that you invested, investing in coins with low market capitalization. They do risk attack, and this is a simple look at that. Now, it seems a lot of attackers are focusing these coins launching on the Avalanche blockchain threatening media attention and the popularity of Avalanche. But all in all, inclusively, this is not Avalanche's fault. It's these coins launching on the Avalanche blockchain, not securing their project to the fullest of the capabilities needed. So where can Avalanche head in the upcoming couple of months? Seeing as it's making massive media attention and breaking all time highs, eventually I see a correction coming in the short term, but December could be a massively great month for AVAX as they are continually collaborating and getting partnerships with these other projects and coins. This is still massively early for AVAX and they still have room to grow. $100 is easily attainable before year's end and maybe before the end of October. Seeing as this current market capitalization is $16 billion with the market capitalization of the entire crypto market being at $1.9 trillion, putting it at a market capitalization of 32 billion would be what it needs to attain those $140 price point levels. Could it reach those $30 billion in market capitalization before year's end? Seeing the rate is growing, it is definitely easily attainable and I wouldn't doubt it, but the price target I would put on the conservative side for AVAX would be $100 before year ends, depending on the route that Bitcoin decides to take. So if you guys enjoyed this quick little update, smash that like as it massively helps with the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. I'll be sure to catch you guys on the next one. See ya.